It's little sugar britches. Little sugar britches Pixie and her little sugar britches friend. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today is the haul video from yesterday's shop with me at the flea market with my friends. Oh my gosh, I have a lot here. So I'm not even going to like waste time to like, I'm just going to, we're just going to get started. Um, I will say that everything that I'm showing you is available for purchase. You can send me an email at thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com and ask me if the item is still available and I'll let you know if it is. So, and, and everything will be up on an upcoming live sale if it doesn't get sold beforehand. So let's get started. I have a lot of things here on my table. I did pick up these. Now these are still full, so I need to be emptying them out. They are not marked, but they are these jadeite salt and pepper shakers. Um, I actually have some very similar um, in my home that I use every single day. So these were a nice find. The salt is just a little bit faded there, but still just an iconic jadeite item. Um, I also picked up a stack of maps. I do pretty well with maps. I will lot them together. Maps do pretty well. People do a lot of crafting and junk journaling and jewelry making. Um, with these maps and so there are some really nice vintage ones in here so I will be selling these and I'll probably sell them in maybe a couple different lots all right I got this now I don't know if I'm going to keep this or if I'm going to sell it because I don't know if I have this particular one or not but it is a vintage Santa Claus land little souvenir plate um, Mark said he paid $6 for this. They had $9 on it, but he paid, I think, $6 is what he said. I know that he got some sort of a bargain on it. But here we have Santa and the uh, musical church. Santa Claus Land. It's now called Holiday World, but we're not going to get into that discussion. And then I picked up this little hearts game. Look at the graphics on here. And it's made by Whitman, which I love. And you open it up, and the cards are just super cute. The Vintage Hearts card. It is complete, and I just think that these are adorable. And I haven't looked up what the value is. If it's not worth a whole heck of a lot of money, I may use them as package toppers. But I don't know. Don't know yet. We will see. And then I picked up this guy. Now, a lot of these things, they were from various vendors. And I'll try to remember how much I paid for certain things. But a lot of the things I paid $5 for because we went, we ran into a booth and this guy was lovely. And, you know, I liked his style. He was just like $5, $5. He probably bought a lot of this stuff at auctions and paid next to nothing for it and he was moving it and he was he was moving it i'll be surprised if he really had a whole lot of things that he had to take back with him and he was just five dollars five dollars five dollars so this is something that i did pay five dollars for it is a rubber duck it's actually a hot water bottle a vintage hot water bottle for like a child you know just like if they get a boo-boo it -boo, makes it fun so you put the water in here and it has this little screw top and it's a hot water bottle. Oh, you know, you can cuddle with your little duck. Um, I'm not sure who makes this exactly. The rubber is still in very good condition. Um, it, the tag or the little uh, top stopper says that it's made in England. So a cute little rubber duck water bottle. And I got this. This was also from the $5 guy. I love this. I don't know. I may end up keeping this because it's beautiful little planter. I actually don't know if, I think that this was originally a, a, a flower pot. I, it might have had a something here. Or that could just be a little glazing flaw right there. It has a little rough part. But I love it. It's not marked. I love the shape of it and the lines of it. It's very dirty and I will clean it, but I think I'm probably going to keep this guy. All right, I'm. this is like a speed round, which is, you know, I, I tend to like to talk about a lot of things, but you know, I got a lot to show you. This little swung vase is a purple collar, which I got a lot of purple people. Hello, purple people out there. And uh, it's in excellent condition. It's hand blown. Um, so I think this was also $5 as well. I'm trying to like pull out the things that I got from the $5 guy. I know I got this from the $5 guy. 
And actually, this is a really kind of really cool idea if you collect hat pins. Um, he used a little single silver shaker and then just stuck the hat pins in the little the little holes. So we got what four hat pins on here. Hat pins used to be a really big thing. This one has like a little rosette on it. There we go. That one's a long one too, but I like just the displayability. This one, I think someone made this one. It was from an old button, like a military button. And then this fun one here is like a little flower. So just a fun little display for your hat pins. I paid $5 for that. Oh, let's see. I paid, I paid $5 for this. That was a great buy. It's not marked, so I don't know who, who made it, but it is an aluminum pitcher with, now the cups are Bascal, and the cups are in really nice condition. So these are all Bascal on the bottom there. The pitcher is not marked. I mean, it could very well be Bascal as well, but you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cups and the pitcher for $5. That's pretty amazing. I got this from him as well. At, at the end, I was trying to, I actually, I spent $100. I spent $100 on five, $5 things. And I got to um, eight, no, $90. And so I was trying to find two more things to make it an even 100. So this was one of the things that I pulled out. And it is this Amberina pedestal dish. You can see the, the Amberina in there. It's very, very pretty. It's in great condition, so I picked that up. What else did we have on the $5? Oh, this bag. We should probably go through this together. Now, I bought this bag for $5 just for this baby, and I am keeping that. But then as I looked inside, I saw something else that I want to show you. So this little guy I'm keeping. These are the ones that I'm collecting, these little cupy looking rubber. Oh, I'll have to get something. Oh, I didn't notice you had, like, marks on your head they're gonna polish remover we'll get that off we'll clean you up little baby don't you worry but look at that little webbed hand hi hello but he's so cute we'll clean him up we'll give him a little bath and then oh mickey you're stuck to this book do you still work mickey now these are little chatter heads um he has like some paint melting off of him but let's see if he still works How about some cheese, please? Well, that was pretty, that was pretty perfect. Let's try again. Musketeers have big ears. Musketeers have big ears. Oh, boy. <laughs> so he has like some spots like on the back here where he's got like a little melty. But the fact that he still works is pretty good because sometimes when I find those, they, they don't work anymore. And this is a little bath book, but... I mean, I might be able to clean this up. I don't know if it's worth anything, but it's Raggedy Ann and Andy. It's made in Taiwan, 1974. So I will try to clean that up a little bit. It's got like, it almost feels like it's fingernail polish on it. Then we have a rattle. That's no big deal. Baby's first, baby's first Christmas. This was the other reason why I wanted to get this bag. Was the Monchichi. Who else remembers the Monchichis? Now, this one is kind of a common Monchichi. He's got his little bottle there. It's dated. Boop, boop, boop. Where are you at? Jolly Plush Toy Corporation. Crystal Lake. I'm hoping that you're a legit Monchichi. I don't know. We'll have to do a little bit of research to see, make sure that he is an actual legit Monchichi. The Monchichis that I've sold before that I've done pretty well with have been like the black ones. I think I sold a white one as well, but I think the brown one is more common, but we'll see. But very iconic of the 80s. So that's what was in that little goodie bag. I paid $5 for that. I also paid $5 for this bag of babies. I'll give you a little, little peek inside. Oh. <gasps> of babies so there are several of these little frozen charlottes with silver hair and with gold hair they're naked 
They're naked. They are marked Japan. They're bisque. So I've got, gosh, I just a couple handfuls of these little frozen Charlottes. And then there were, I think, two or three of these girls. Woo! With the, with the moving arms. So these bigger ones and then the smaller ones. And I paid $5 for, for all of them. And then I have this little, the little African American baby. She's plastic, but she doesn't have any arms or legs. I'm so sorry, precious. There's no arms or legs on her. So that's sad. All right. What else did I get for $5? This. I haven't made up my mind if I'm keeping this either. I'm, I may. But this is made. It's a cookie jar, and it's made by McCoy. I think this was from the 1950s. It is the Cookie Bell. And I love this color on it. It says cookies. It's in excellent condition. There's no chips or cracks. It's that matte, that lovely matte McCoy. I love this. So I'm probably going to keep this. Do I have counter space for it? Not really, but I liked it a lot. So I'm probably going to keep that. All right, let me scan for other $5 things. I have to look in my box because I got a box of stuff. Oh, th these. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I paid $5 for this stack of linens here. $5. And they are vintage towels. Look at this one with the cats. It says honeymoon. Those cats got married. Um, I'm going to pull the cat ones. And then this one says spoon. A little saucy a little saucy cats this one said oh my gosh these are so precious this one says soon does that mean she's gonna have a baby soon i guess if you got married you went on your honeymoon and then you spoon and then soon that's what happens next and then we have so maybe croon first so croon first, because they have to fall in love first. So croon, then honeymoon, then spoon, then soon. In that order, right? Not in any other order than that. Let's keep it in that order. So I got those. That was the set of the cat ones. And then I've got these little chef guys. It says Monday wash. He's a good chef, man. He's washing the dishes. Or no, washing the laundry. Yeah. Monday is wash. Now these are going to be all out of, they're all not in order. So we're just going to show them in the order that I have them stacked in. This says Saturday cook. This says Friday clean. I mean, Saturday cook. Let's, let's face it. We, we cook every day. Saturday clean. Um, Wednesday mend. And Sunday, rest. So what day are we missing? We're missing Tuesday. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we're missing, we're missing two days. I think Monday and Tuesday we're missing, but that's okay. They're pretty cute. All those were $5. I know, I was amazed too. The next thing that I got that was $10. No, I actually paid $20. I paid $20 for this and it is a box of babies. Well, a box of baby parts, Bo box of baby heads. Now I did pay $20 for them, but these heads in here are, they are sugar britches. Look at that. Sugar britches. It's sugar britches guys. Um, and I do have her hands in here as well. So we've got Sugar Britch's head and her hands. Well, that's kind of fun. Boop, 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 boop. So these actually sell on eBay for about $25 just for this set of head and hands. About $25. So not only did I get that one, that set, I also got this set. Look, you can turn her head and she's all different expressions. Crying, kind of creepy happy. 
and sleep. And I also have another set of hands in here for this one. So there's $50 right there for those two parts. And then, strangely enough, we've got um, three heads of, uh, of Papaw. We have three Papaw heads that are still in their bags. So I, do you need a Papaw head? Because I got three of them with oddly shaped noses. So there's those. That was in that box. As well as some hair. Um, this says it is easy wash directions. Prepare hot water with liquid dish detergent as if to do dishes. Set wool and water. Gently, gently squeeze wool several times. Water will look dirty instantly. It is simply the natural, natural lanolin from the sheep. Oh, is this from a sheep? Sheep's hair. You know what? I might have to see if Liz Retros wants these because Liz Retros makes fun things with these kinds of things. So we'll see if she would like the hair. And then also, also in this box of goodness was a, a little picture here with more little frozen Charlottes. So I got more babies and babies. This one's my favorite. Little Native American one. Oh, I love her. She's so precious. Look at her. Little maiden. Ugh. She's pretty cute, too, with a little bow in her hair. Whee! They got fun, dancy arms. But I love these, and I'm probably going to keep most of those frozen Charlottes because I have them all up on the shelf. $20 for the box full of babies, baby heads and hands. But I should be able to sell the, the parts for about $25 each. So um, I will make my, I'll make some money on that box. All right. And then, I don't know if I got anything else from the $5 man. That might be about it from him. I don't quite know. But I'll show you some of the other things that I got. Um, we did go to a booth and they had a lot of things. Everything was a dollar. So I'm not going to show them to you because actually they're at home because I'm looking through them. But I did get several Life magazines, like from the 50s and 60s. But I did get some, mainly I got the December and October. December and October were the ones that I tried to get because I wanted to get the holiday, the holiday ones. I think I got November's too. Um... But I got this, I think this was a dollar, and it was this apron, you know, a full apron. Like, you would wear this on your front, and your, it covers your chest and everything. If you're messy while you cook. And then I got this linen as well. This is a nice round linen with the basket and the butterflies. And I like that it was round, so you could, you know, most of the time you see these table toppers and they're square. So I like that this one was round. And then I did pick up the set of three doilies. We've got this long one with the red and green. So very much Christmassy colors. And then also the matching two little doilies that go with it. So I will sell those as a lot together because they all match. And then Mark actually found this table scarf. It's in great condition with the basket on each end. Very nice condition on that one as well. I like the colors of that peachy and blue together. So Mark actually found that one. All right, Mark also found a Stars and Bars Clear Fairy Lamp for a dollar. Yeah, that was a great buy. Uh, it's in excellent condition. So it's made by Ellie Smith. And then I found a Fenton Hobnail Fairy Lamp. Now I paid $6 for mine, which is, I mean, which is still great, but see, $6 for the Fenton Hobnail Milk Glass Fairy Lamp. Now the Fairy Lamps I will be selling in a live sale, so they are actually not available um, right now. They'll be available during a live sale. I love this Copper Luster. Isn't this beautiful? It is, it's porcelain, but it has this copper uh, finish on it. Isn't that lovely? I did pay $5 for this, but I just think that this is just beautiful. This is made by, this says, Burslem, made in England. There's the bottom of it. I just think that it's so pretty. And you can like, you can see yourself in it. It's like looking into a mirror. I just really like that. Um, and then I picked up these guys from that same booth. They were $6 for the pair. Are these um, German Shepherds? 
I think. They're brothers. So one's standing up and one's laying down. So I will sell these guys as a lot or as a set. Um, I don't know where they were made. They do have an identification number on the bottom there. But I like to buy breed-specific dogs. Uh, let's see. I also picked up this little copper. It is made, it says solid copper little barrel mug, which I think would look great with a little air plant in it. It's just a nice little thing. And it was a dollar. It's a dollar for that. And what else did I get from that booth? Oh, I picked these up. I just think that this was really cute. I don't know, quite know who makes this, but this is old EAPG. And it was a dollar. But again, I think with an air plant in it, and it has that ring of fire on the handle there. So I just really like that. And this one is Boyd glass. It was $2. The little blue milk glass is made by Boyd glass. It almost looks like a little chamber pot, but also has this really lovely ring of fire in the handle where it's really thin. So I just thought that was really nice too. You could put a little air plant in that as well. Or use it as a little um, ring keeper. You could do that with that as well. And then I got some squirrels. Now, I have these tree squirrels. I have one, two, three, four. Tree squirrels. Four tree squirrels. Now, I was asking. I bought these when they were setting up. These are like a bisque. They're bisque. And you could hang them on your wall or you can hang them on a tree. I call them tree squirrels. But some people hang them on their walls on the inside of their house. They've got kind of a dustiness on the inside but I asked they, they they weren't priced yet and I said I asked how much they were and she said ten dollars and I thought she meant ten dollars each and I was still going to go ahead and buy all of them for ten dollars but then she said no ten dollars for all of them and I said okay so I got all four of them for ten dollars now they have these in larger sizes too these are the smaller version but I have four of those and those are all available for sale and then I got this clock. Now, I'm keeping this clock because I'm starting a little clock shelf. I'm actually going to take the clocks home. I've been kind of like putting them over there to the side when I've been finding them, and now I'm ready to take them home and put them on a shelf. Um, this is a West Clocks. I love the, the font of the numbers on there. I don't think that it works. Does it say? It doesn't say, but it was $4. Now, these numbers are uranium. They do glow. So, yeah, I'm, I'm starting a little clock shelf. So, I think I'm ready to take my clocks home and put them on my shelf. All right. And then I found this. Um, this was in the dollar section. This is Pilgrim Glass. And Mark actually, when he was buying the fairy lamp, the guy threw this in for free. So, they're both Pilgrim Glass. So, I've now I got the Big Mama and the Baby. Now, this one has a little... Well, it's not broken, but it has like a little fracture point right there on the inside. But they are pilgrim glass. You can tell this one definitely is marked there with the little waffle lines. And that's something that I learned from George. I wish I could just take him shopping with me all the time. But the two little pilgrim glass, kind of little squatty art glass, crackle glass uh, pieces. I probably will sell those together too. All right, what else? I got a bunny. This is a candy container um, of a little bunny. Now, this says that it was made, in, it's made by Jeanette Glass, patent applied for. So, this one is a vintage one. They do make reproductions of these as well, which they actually had some reproductions. And I kind of looked at this one and I compared it to the other one that they had. And this one is actually a legit um, vintage candy mold or candy container. It would be can it would be filled with candy and there'd be a little cardboard part here on the bottom that would hold the candy in. But these are great for Easter display. I also picked up this was a dollar. Now this is Avon, but it's very pretty and I'm going to probably put it away. It's just this ruby red um, glass. It's a little heart trinket dish. I'll put this up to sell around Valentine's Day. But it was a dollar and it's pretty and people like little trinket dishes and people like ruby red. So I went ahead and got that for a dollar. 
Um, I picked this little guy up. I'm actually going to keep this guy. Um, there was a lovely booth and we went there. We saw her on Friday and she had everything. All holiday things were 50% off and everything else was 20% off. And this was on the preview day. So that was pretty awesome. So I did get this girly candle of the little Native American. And I, I don't have this one. I have, I think I have the the female version, but I don't have the male. So this was, she had it marked $6, but it was actually $3. So I picked him up for me. And then I also got this for me as well. And it's this little Easter spring toy. So I'm gonna put this with my Easter decor. I just like fun things like this. So this was actually $2 for this little egg guy. Are those the only two holiday things I got from her? I think so. Oh no, this one. Um, This is a little Lefton. Little Lefton Valentine cat, and there's her little Lefton sticker. She was five dollars, so I got it for two fifty. And so I'm gonna put her away with the Valentine things. And I think that was all that I got from her as far as holiday things. But this is kind of a well, it's not really a holiday thing, but I guess it could be. Mark picked this little picture up. It's a little bunny. It's made in Japan. I love his creepy face. <laughs> Look at that. Arr, I'm a bunny. You can put a plant in me and make me a little vase. But it is a little creamer or a little pitcher, actually. So he's a lot of fun. And we also got this really cool piece of art glass. Mark actually found this. Um, I We got a pelican, which I sold last Friday night on Jeffrey's channel. And then we also got a fun sea glass or sea glass. Art glass sea turtle. Isn't he fun? Oh my gosh, look at him. He's got his little flappers, flippers, not flappers. But, so I thought he was really cool. He will be available during a live sale only as well. And I'm saving the salt and pepper shakers for the last because I did get several sets. But look at these guys. I paid, I think I paid $5 a piece for these two little Prixies. Look at them. Aren't they fun? Um, they are made in Japan. Now, there were two more um, at, in this booth, but they were broken. And so I just got the two that, were, that weren't broken. I mean, they were like their arms or legs were missing, broken. It wasn't like just barely broken. They were broken. So I did just get these two guys, these two brothers. And I will sell them together as a lot. All right. And then Mark found this little stretch cat with the little pink cheeks. Look, it is made in Japan. It does, it's not Mark that it is, but I know that it is made in Japan. So he's a lot of fun. And then I got some Wade Whimsies. Now, the, these aren't Wade Whimsies. These are just made by Wade. So they are made in England. And they are English porcelain or Irish porcelain probably. But they are turtles and I got two of them. You can see here they are marked Wade. Made in England. The colorations are just a little bit different. This one has a little bit of, you can see how different colors, but I did buy both of them. I did pay $3 a piece for them. All right, now, oh, I got some sun catchers. These are fun. These are just fun. We've got the big mushroom. We got the big mushroom. And not only do we have a big mushroom, but we've got a small yellow mushroom. We've got a small brown mushroom. This one's not doesn't have a hanger. But how did they add these hangers on there? Yeah, these have hangers. This one does not, but this one does. And a red mushroom. So you could maybe make some sort of a mobile or just put sun catchers and have all of them hang around but this one this little guy oh he has a little hole right here so you could string you could string a fishing line on him as well for the mushrooms i also got this little aluminum fridgy dish it is made by sunburst i like this because i liked i think it would be great to use as a riser so at christmas time you know you could put this on the shelf and then have a little your little pixies or put a flower pot on it. You know, you could set this on there just to make a little bit of a riser. And it slides open, although I couldn't figure out 
Oh no, it doesn't slide open. It just pops open. So got that and it was a dollar. All right, before I get to the salt and pepper shakers, I'm going to show you some books, but I'm just making sure I have showed you everything else. And I think that I have. All right, I got some really fun books. This one was a dollar, and oh, I love the Santa on this. This is Raggedy Ann's Merriest Christmas. I may keep this one. I'm not going to lie. I love the colors on it. It's made by Wonder Books, but the illustrations are a lot of fun on the inside. So this was a dollar, and then I got some readers. This one is On the Way to Storyland Primer. This is uh, Laidlaw Basic Readers. Um, this one... It would be great for a junk journaler. I'm not going to lie because a lot of the pages are missing. I did buy this for a dollar, but it does have, it, it has some neat graphics in here, but the condition is not the greatest. So this would be one that you would definitely want if you were a junk journal. You know, some of the pages are colored in, but it does still have a lot of use to it that you could use for crafts or junk journaling. And it was a dollar. And then I got this one. Now, this one was $4, and it's Round About You. And it has some really fun illustrations inside. I always look, and it has color illustrations. Let's see. I don't know. remember. I looked at so many readers that weekend. I always try to find the ones that have um, holiday stories in them. But still, nice, fun illustrations in this one. And then I got these. I love this one. I just love this one. How much did I pay for this one? This one was $3, but I just couldn't resist. Look at those Prixies. Look at them. It's little sugar britches. Little sugar britches Pixie and her little sugar britches friend. So this is the Elves and the Shoemaker. It's a tell -a tale which is made by Whitman, but... Let's see if we can find the little Prixies on the inside. Or the little elves, I'm sorry. Oh, there they are. There they are, little sugar britches. Put your shirt on, sugar britches. Sugar britches is just, and her and her friend are just dancing around naked. Is that, maybe that's not too far from the truth. Huh, sugar britches? But I love that one. And then this one, <laughs> I loved this one too. This is Jack the Giant Killer. But look at the giant. That's the way I feel in the morning sometimes. Are you with me? Do you feel like that in the morning sometimes too? I did pay $3 for this book as well. But I just liked the graphics in it. It was just a fun book. It's in really nice condition. It's hardback. But I just liked the illustrations on the inside of it. So I did get that one for $3. All right, so let's show some shakers. Now, this is a long video. It's a long video. And I'm not going to lie, it's long. And I know some, some people like the long videos, some people don't. And I'm not dividing this up into two different videos. It's just going to be one long video. All right. Now the shakers. It's shaker time. I got there and I wasn't filming and maybe Jeffrey was and maybe you can see that in Jeffrey's video. But there was a booth that had salt and pepper shakers. And I believe there were three pairs. Like you got three sets of salt and pepper shakers for $5. And we just about toppled over one another to try to get to them. But I did manage to get a few of them. Um, I got these little bowls that remind me of little Ferdinand. Look at their little dopey faces. Oh, they're cute. They're made in Japan. They do have their stoppers. I got these two little dogs. They do not have their stoppers. But two little fun dogs. They're little huggers, I think. Are you huggers? No, you're not huggers. They look away from one another. I got, now, I don't like these, but I needed to get one more pair. And I, I, I don't know. I thought that somebody, oh, they're clowns. They're creepy clowns. I got these little horses. Now, these are made in Korea. So they're vintage, but they're not terribly old. They do have a plastic stopper, but they're little horses. And I love that that one has a little butterfly on its tail. And this one has a little flower in its mouth. And I got these. These are made in Japan. The little chicks. They do have their stoppers. And I got, these are so cute. 
these little frogs with their under tray and they've got little flowers on their heads. I think these are also made in Korea. Maybe? No, I don't know. I think they're either made in Korea or in Japan. They do have their stoppers, but aren't they cute? And then my favorite ones, I think I'm going to try to do a little bit of a repair job on these because they're these little white cats. But their little balls of yarn are a little worse for wear. So I'm going to see if I can make them some new little yarn balls. This one, they have their little noisemakers. This one no longer makes noise, but this one, this one makes its fun little squeaky noise. And they have little whiskers on them, so they're super, super cute. And I love that that one still makes noise. These are made by Inesco, so I'm going to see what I can do to try to fix their little yarn balls. I don't know if I can make them look any better, but I'm going to, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. And that's all. That is everything that I bought from the flea market. Um, this was a matter of two days. We went on Friday and we went back on Saturday. I filmed a little bit on Saturday, but not a whole lot. Cause honestly, a lot of the stuff I, I had already shown you. So it was stuff that we had already seen. We just kind of went back and looked at things again. And I just kind of wanted to shop. I just kind of wanted to shop. I wanted to be there and shop and live in the moment and just have fun with my friends and not worry about filming. So this was the compilation of two days at the flea market and we definitely will be going back next year. It was a lot of fun. Um, I will post the link to that carnival or that I will post the link to the flea markets Facebook page so you can join them and follow them as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this long video. I know that it's a lot. Um, I also wanted to say that I do have an affiliate link for Bubble Wrap from Bubble Boy. So if you are needing some Bubble Wrap, I highly, highly recommend going through Bubble Boy. They are, they are based here in the United States. They're a small company. The Bubble Wrap is amazing and you get it very, very fast. I literally order it and I get it the next day, most of the time. So that affiliate link is down in the description below if you want to check out Bubble Boy for all of your bubble, your bubble wrap needs. You can follow that link. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you see anything that you're interested in, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and I will let you know if it is still available. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.